Hey guys, I had somebody ask me for a setup tour, so today I want to show you guys all the gear that I use to make these videos. So this is my view when I'm making the videos. I have this Sony RX105 on a blue compass microphone arm. This is a tripod mount for a camera, so this is really meant for a microphone, but I put a camera on it, and it is the best purchase I've ever made. Like, I used to have a tripod on my desk all the time, and that took up so much space. So if you're looking to make your setup a little bit cleaner, I would definitely recommend getting a microphone arm, clipping it to the side of your desk, and just having your camera there all the time, ready to go. When it comes to recording audio, I have a few ways of doing it. I think this is my favorite way. I use this Apogee Mic Plus, and it just gives it a really raw and real sound. So this is the USB microphone I'll use. But if I want to do something more, I want to do more intricate tracking and use an electric and different instruments, I'll use this Apollo Twin. This plugs into the lightning port and I can plug in a microphone. I can plug in uh, a guitar if I wanted to. And yeah, so this is what I use when I want to do more than just acoustic guitar and vocals. This is the microphone I use when I plug into the Apollo. This is a Shure SM7B. It sounds really good with my voice, so that's why I use it. The question I get most on my channel is what acoustic guitar are you playing? This is a Martin OM28 Retro. It's a great guitar, I mean it sounds really good and it's, I, can, I can actually hear a difference of how it sounded when I first bought it uh, five years ago now to how it sounds now. I think it's starting to warm up a little bit. This is a Fender Custom Shop 56 reissue. Fun fact, this actually belonged to Sturgill Simpson before it belonged to me and this is my favorite guitar that I own. Now, my amplifier that I use is a Fender Princeton Reverb. Great amp, just, you know, your standard Princeton. It's all you need. So that's my setup. It might change, but this is what's working in 2020 for me. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. I'd love to help anybody out there who's trying to make cover videos. Like, I've been doing this for four years. I feel like I have some information that could be helpful. Just let me know if you have any questions, I'd love to help. And thanks for watching, and I'll be back with another cover very soon. See you next time.